Hey guys, this is Nate Jackson. We're back. <clears throat> so just logged back in. I, I think I got timed out or lost. I think I lost my data connection. I uh, don't have the best internet service, but everything still works. So, uh, yeah, so it had trouble getting back to the to the home page. So probably a, a data connection got interrupted or something. So uh, just a little bit more information about how you can use this search uh, feature. Say you can search for jobs, so if you wanted to search for, I don't know, accounting, it will actually pull up the available jobs that are posted, so you can download those uh, listings as well. Uh, so, let's see, I'm going to filter this down by quite a bit, so we can, let's see. I want to I want to get a very small set of results. So let's see. I don't, I'm just doing this on the fly. So 876. So let's try a zip code. 333. So how else can we filter it? Um, Let's see. Okay, so 62 jobs at Sonic Drive-In. So, okay, so there's a general manager job at Sonic Drive-In. That's great. This looks like the same thing posted over and over. So let's do something different. So let's look at uh, Robert Half Finance. Okay, so they have some jobs posted here. So we have our results just like before. Want to make sure we're in the LinkedIn search results, LinkedIn LinkedIn search module. So activate it. So click OK. Choose our file name. So we're going to call this Houston Accounting Jobs. Dot CSV. Save, and it should be three pages of results. So it won't take very long. Click Start. And we are off. That's page one. Oh, they do 25 results on this one. I mean, yeah, LinkedIn does 25 results per page on certain searches. So all on one page. So let's go to that file. So Houston Accounting Jobs. You hear my kids in the background. I'm at home, folks, so this is the life. Uh, just write software for you, put it out, spend time with my kids. Okay, so it's opening. We have 25 jobs listed, job title, uh, company, location, and the posting date so and the link so if you wanted to if you're seeking a job this is a way for you to uh, download them really quickly and have ways to uh, store them and go back to them find out more about them uh, whatever it's a, it's just another perk of, of using the software so we'll close that uh, let's see close that close that now what else can we search for? We can search for companies. So let's search for companies Houston. Okay, so we're going to find companies in Houston, Houston, Texas area. And uh, whatever you type in is going to have the keyword in the name of the in 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 the in the main name so we're searching for companies that are named Houston something so let's say who's hiring I was gonna, we're going to filter this down again um so this by first connections which means that I have connections that work at these places okay so yeah so it's either looks like it's either in the name or the location so uh, we have I have so these are the companies where my first level connections work. So yeah, 
So that's a good, that's will be a really quick search. So we've got that set up, ready to go. We need a file name. So we'll say say file company Houston companies first of of contacts dot csv save that and let's see what these results uh, look like so quick start should all be one page or two pages okay so companies is on two pages so if you wanted to I don't know find a job where one of your contacts works or find out more about somewhere that one of your contacts works. You can do that. I don't know. This is up to you. But I just give you the ability to do what you want to do. So let's see. We have 12 results. The company URL, the company name, the industry, the location, the company size. Yeah. Okay. And so you have the URL. You could always follow up and find out more about it. So we have that. Let's see what else we can pull out of LinkedIn for you. So, LinkedIn search. Um, activate it. I really didn't have to do that, but I have it. So, we've done people, jobs, companies, groups, universities. And we'll do search for all universities. All you, don't even type in anything for the keyword. You can do search for all universities, and it sorts it by the number of, of alumni on LinkedIn. So from greatest to least. And then if you wanted, you could filter it down by location. Uh, you could filter it by city. Okay. You could filter it by number of alumni. 258 results. Let's do more than that. Not gonna take that call right now. Uh, so let's filter it by more. So let's take off United States. Five results. So let's change that to Texas instead of just Houston. Let's see what we get there. Uh, can't do by state. Have to do by city. Okay. So I could add all these cities. So let's add uh, San Antonio. Let's add Dallas, Fort Worth area. Let's add Austin. And so we'll leave it at that. So we're doing, oh, that's Australia. Austin, Texas. All right, so we have 13 results of universities in Texas with more than 10,000 students. So that's a good way to filter down some data. It should be two pages of results. So uh, click a file name. Let's see. Texas universities dot CSV. All right. So click start and it should be one or two pages of results and uh, then we should be able to and actually with LinkedIn if you wanted you could find alumni of different universities and if you wanted to get that data all right so let's go through this page and we're on to the second page and we're done it gives us 13 results. So let's see what this file looks like. Texas Universities. And there we go. So you have the URL. You can always follow up with that for more information. And I'll show you, you can actually get alumni from different universities using that same search feature. So, university URL, name, location, number of alumni. Close that. So, say we wanted to find 
uh, let's say, uh, MIT, people who studied at Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I'm a little partial to MIT, it's my alma mater. So, and we wanted to only find second, third level connections. I kind of did this before. So, yeah, you could filter that way. So, if you wanted to find alumni from a, a particular university because you have some sort of university project going on, that would be this would be a great way to get that information. Uh, oh, this is where employer. So, if you wanted to people find people who worked there and went to school there, or you can do that. And it's just the same thing. So, you filter your uh query and then you just click you pick a file name. I'm not going to do this one because we've kind of done this one already. So pick a save file name uh, and then just click the start button and it's going to give you up to, I guess, up to a thousand results. So, so that's that. Oh yeah, I know where the 1500 came from. I was able to, you can get uh, 1500 group members uh, for groups that you belong to. That's where the 1500 limit comes into play. All right, so let's do another search. Uh, so we've done people, companies, jobs, groups, universities, posts. So let's find posts. Yeah, we already have MIT here, so we might as well just leave it there. So we can find posts about a particular topic. We can filter it by, let's see, Ariana Huffington. She's Huffington Post lady. 46 results about MIT posted by Ariana Huffington and let's see what we get when we run this search so we'll find Huffington MIT posts dot CSV <clears throat> I'm going to save that and I'm going to click start and we'll see what we come up with 46 results so it won't take very long be no more than five pages and with this one uh, we get the title we get basically everything you see on the screen here we get the title of the post the description of the post the author of the post the author's profile URL the number of posts by that author I believe the number of followers, basically everything you see on the screen, you're going to get in your spreadsheet. So, and, for, and the good thing about it is you get the post URL of the the I mean, the URL of the actual person who made the post. So we can use that data in the same way uh, as far as adding connections or sending messages if you have a paid LinkedIn account. So, so you can comb through that data and find something that's relevant to whatever your project is and uh, use use it to your advantage. I mean, I mean, just think about how much time you're going to be saving as opposed to having to manually search and click all these results and then bookmark them and save them, copy and paste to notepad or whatever you use. So uh, we're saving you a lot of time here, folks, and you have to start to wonder how much your time is worth when you see an opportunity to save time yet you're paying someone else to do it for you or you're spending your time basically being doing data entry so let's look at Huffington MIT posts and see what we get in this file okay so we get the let's let it open here we get the post URL we get the title the summary the date it was posted, the number of views, the author, the author profile URL, the position of the author, the author's number of posts, and the number of followers for that author. And if there were more than one author, then it would reflect all the data for everyone who showed up in the results. So since we filtered it by one author, that's why we it's all the same. But trust me, it works just like all the other uh, versions of the search that I've shown you. 
And so that's, uh, uh, folks, I'm giving you so much data here. I really, really don't, don't know what to say, but it's, you, you get, you're getting a good package here. All right. So now we're going to, uh, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next. Either I'm going to go to the interact module or I'm going to go to the groups module. I think I'm going to go to groups first and then we'll go to interact because part of interacting uh, has to do with what you can do with groups. So I'll save the best for last because social media is all about interacting and not just getting data. So we're going to get the data and then I will show you what you can do with that data. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.